agents te teasing Bibby. Agent made Bibby cheesecake for Mother's Day. Hey, smells so good and I'm not allowed to eat them till tomorrow. <laughs> G'day folks, welcome back to Boddington Farm. Well, this must be a first. Um, I've been allowed in Bibby's kitchen because tomorrow being Mother's Day, I have a request to do my baked cheesecake. You know, I first it's, got- It's the only time he gets in my kitchen is when he's cooking sweets. Yeah. I did see this uh, recipe first on, on a on a, on a TV show here in Australia, it was, it was titled uh, Matt's, Matt Preston's Best Ever Baked Cheesecake, but let's get on with it. So my ingredients are a little bit of salt, I have some granita biscuits, or if you cannot get granita biscuits, uh, digestives will do. I have some thickened cream, some vanilla extract, caster sugar, lemon, a stick of butter. A bit of butter. And cream cheese. Cream cheese. Plus also eggs. Yeah. But I don't think I'm gonna need that many. Anyone need eggs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And to help put this in this all together, I've got a nine inch um well nine inch one. Um Bacon tin, which I've lined the, the bottom with some baking paper, and I've double wrapped the outside with some aluminium foil. The reason why I did that is because for the baking part of the um, effort, this is going to be sitting in about half an inch of water. I have my mixer here for whipping things all together, and I've got a blender here for smashing up the uh, biscuits. For, for making the, bi the biscuit base. Back to you soon, folks. <laughs> okay, folks. I'm about to assemble the biscuit base of this uh, cheesecake. In here, I've got my packet of granita biscuits that I've put through the blender, all nicely crum crumbled and s smashed up. Into this, I'm going to add 75 correction yep 75 grams of melted butter like thus as much as i can and i'm going to add 60 grams of sugar this being caster sugar there and I'm going to give a nice mix. Mm -hmm. Isn't it funny when I'm, I'm cooking I do it all myself but when you're cooking <laughs> you need camera crew <laughs> and a cheat sheet. I'll cook better by following a recipe most of the time. What a suck freestyle cooking savory. Well, you don't complain about my uh, potato cakes, so my potato pancakes, no. or my um, my scrambled eggs. That's two. Have to do my the curry that my dad taught me. So got all that nice and incorporated. Let me just shift some stuff over. Here is my cake tin. Just one to there, like such. You now, if you don't, if you don't like a really thick base, you don't have to put as much in. I'm going to go with this and see how this goes. But I need to get my my, my special tool. So, guys, don't forget, we actually have playlists of all our videos. 
So if you want to find something, go to the playlists. There's going to be, there's heaps of different playlists like Urban Homestead, Cooking with Bibi and Agent, Prepping, you name it, it's in our playlist. Nice and easy for everyone to find. Okay, nice and get that nice spread out. Just get it reasonably. Mr. Bibi. Yeah, spread it out a little bit. Let's see how we go. This is my special tool because I just go around, give it a gentle press down. That's a whiskey blast, by the way, guys. My whiskey glass, yes. Like that. And I'm happy with that. So if I've got, because I've got some left over here, and we do have some smaller um, pie dishes, if I've got any of the of, of the um, filling left over, I'll make a little um, cheesecake for Bibby. Now, I'll put this into the oven, preheated at 175 degrees, and such. And that will go in for approximately... Yes, I'm still in my jammies, guys. This will go in for approximately uh, 10 minutes. Or five Or I've, ta I've taught him how to use his nose. Or if I can smell a nice biscuity smell coming from the oven, that tells me that is right. And, and now I've said... And how am I supposed to cook the chicken wings for dinner? Because he's taken up the whole oven. But, because <laughs> this stage will only take about 10 minutes, and I, you need to let the um, base cool down before you put the, the filling in. So that will allow adequate time for the base to cool down so we can get rolling onto the, onto the next section. Back soon. Hey folks, okay. Welcome back to the next part of putting together this cheesecake. Here I've got my, what is it, uh, 750 grams of cream cheese that has been sitting out on the bench top for, for a while to get to, to room temperature. I'm going to do now, uh, add it to the mixer, like such. And that. And I'm going to close this down. And make sure. Ow. And I'm going to get that mix here. It's a nice and warm. From there, I'm going to add, because it you got to do this in a particular order. I need to check the recipe. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. I've got my caster sugar here. Add the caster sugar. How much? It is 230 grams of caster sugar. They go until it gets nice and creamy. Beautiful. Next step in the process is we add our four eggs, but you do this one egg at a time. I will grab out a Crack it into. And these eggs were laid by our girls today, so you can't get much fresher than that. And I'm going to let that go until that egg is fully incorporated. I 
just going to just put the sides down a bit to get everything all, all mixing nicely. Egg. So we'll be back once all the eggs are done. Okay, all four eggs are, are in there. I'm just going to add a little pinch of salt. There's one more, that's enough. And come back here. I'm going to add. Check the recipe. Check the recipe. <laughs> Add my cream. How much cream? 300 mils of cream. He forgets to tell people, but he likes using recipes. Yeah. And like me, who freehands it all the time, he needs structure. And it's, it's a two and a half tablespoons. No, 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 one table. He said one table, one teaspoon of vanilla yeah. extract. Teaspoon, not teaspoon. tablespoon. Teaspoon. Now, can you see why I never let him in the kitchen? Well, this one I'm going to use an actual teaspoon. Yeah, teaspoon. Because he can't find the measuring spoons. Exactly. Even if they're in the same drawer. There you go. Now, I'm going to get that a little mix, get it all incorporated. All ingredient is so, so I'll get it right lemon juice and we add in two and a half tablespoons so this is one tablespoon sure it's a tablespoon not a teaspoon one tip is one tablespoon from the recipe <laughs> one two and a smidge. I'm going to give it one last little shake down on the sides. Scrape it off. As you can see, it's a really, really but I'll clean up after myself. Messy. Very messy cook. But I'll clean up after myself. <laughs> That's yummy. If you can't tell, that's yummy. Hang on. 
There you go, baby. You get the little bit, huh? <laughs> you see, good cooks let you lick the beta afterwards. Great cooks turn the mixer off first. Okay, let's go over to our pre prepared. But I'm eating. You can, you're a woman, you can do more than two things at one time. Okay, yeah. In goes the batter. Right. Folks, if you can see it right now, Bibi is like a, a little kid with, with, with the mixer beater. I am not. I can't cut in there. My tongue's not long enough. We go folks now you can see i do have some left over so i'm the, i will make a little mini uh, cheesecake for bibby then you're dropping stuff all over the floor too i'll clean it up don't worry about that okay the water here i'm going to put roughly half an inch of water into here. This stops the bottom of it from burnings. This is just the grill tray out of the oven. Change around my racks in the oven. Now I'm going to change them all around again. Ah. Yeah, someone said to cook dinner. And this goes into the oven. Better off putting it on the above the. I don't know. Okay. In between, yeah. I think this is probably the first time he's done a, a cheesecake in this oven. No, it isn't. It's in. It's in. Now that goes in for one hour. Just quick double check on the because I don't I don't want to talk about porkies. Minutes. Now the important thing folks is after your the, the cake has finished cooking turn the oven off don't open the door and let it cool down in the oven. And folks the, the next time you, you will see this cake will probably be tomorrow. Here we go, guys. And here we go, folks. C cake's been in the fridge overnight. Here's the final reveal. Oh. Ta-da! Look at that. Baked lemon cheesecake. Mm, mm, mm. Now, let me just run this up under some hot water. It was absolute torture last night while this was cooking. The smell. Oh. I 
can get it out in one go without it collapsing. That sounds revolting. <laughs> That's the paper underneath. Oh, oh dear. There you go, guys. Here you go, baby. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, I'm best cheesecake ever. So don't forget to like, subscribe, give us a huge thumbs up, and tickle the bell. Catch ya. Or put the recipe or links to the recipe in the comments, folks.